course. Thanks for having me. You have to celebrate it before you get here. That's the, that's the key. All right. We're here with Ohio State. Welcome to North Texas. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, if you start with an opening statement, and then we'll go to questions for you and Xavier. Sure. Yeah, no, excited to be here. Just got in here with the team. Um, you know, landed down probably about 45 minutes ago. Excited to be here. Um, excited to be back at the Cotton Bowl. It is a um, wonderful bowl, and, and the hospitality here um, is top notch. And uh, I know our guys are excited about it. Certainly have a great opponent in Missouri. Um, excited to have a, a great week of practice and get to work. Xavier, what does it mean to be here and be a part of this opportunity? <clears throat> um, I think, you know, for a team, as a team, um, just to have an opportunity to go out there one more time with our brothers, um, go out there uh, one more time and compete. Um, and like Coach Day said, against an uh, excellent opponent, um, so at the highest level, um, I think that, you know, it allows us to, to really um, earn something for this season. Um, a lot, we put a lot of work into this season. Um, you know, people were sacrificing so much, sacrificing time, you know, sacrificing seeing certain people or, you know, whatever that may be. Um, and so it's important, um, imperative that we, we come um, out of this season with something. Um, and so I think that that is the main thing. Um, so we're coming down here to win a game. Um, we're coming down here to enjoy ourselves and kind of have a, a celebration of, of the 2023 Buckeyes. Ryan, the obvious question, uh, did everyone uh, make the trip? Uh, are you expecting any opt-outs, uh, Marvin, anyone else you can speak specifically of? Yeah, everyone, everyone's um, you know, going to be here. We have a team meeting tonight um, and may have an update on that later on, but, but right now no updates on that. Uh, Coach, in the couple weeks since knowing that you're going to play, Missouri, what has stood out to you when looking at what Eli Drinkwitz, what their offense is it capable of, and kind of in the few weeks of scouting, um, have you seen that they do well? Uh, well, their record speaks for itself in terms of um, you know, losing two games. They've played well, uh, complimentary football, um, you know, run, pass on offense, you know, puts you in a lot of stress. On defense, um, again, same thing. You know, they make you work it down the, the field. They, they have a strong front, a really good back end. So uh, play really complimentary football and, and certainly um, you know, have won a bunch of games this year at a high level and uh, know how to win games. So um, you know, it's, it's been great preparing for them, and now we've got to continue to do that this week. Uh, Lathan Ransom obviously was at the most, of the most serious of those injuries at the end. Any chance that he would play in this game? No, he'll be out for this game. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and could you just kind of give an update on Devin Brown? You talked about him the other day, yeah. but just you've probably had a few more practices. What have you seen from him? What do you need to see from him in the game? And, and I'm curious about your impressions of, of Devin. Yeah, I think the first thing you notice is, you know, his command of the, of the, the huddle, his command of the offense. Um, you know, I think he's done a nice job of that. Uh, you know, he has, um, you know, a charisma about him that I think the guys appreciate. Uh, he's got a chance to extend plays with his feet. He's got a strong arm. Uh, he's very intelligent. He has a lot of, um, you know, a lot of skills, a lot of uh, you know traits that you look for in a, in a quarterback. Um, now he's just got to go play the game. And you know what are we looking for in the game? Looking for him to take care of the football and ultimately lead the team to win. And um, you know this is what a great opportunity for his first start to be in the Cotton Bowl. Yeah, uh, like Coach Day said, I think he has a charisma, um, a uh, confidence to him um, that. He's exuded um, even throughout the process of when it, him and Kyle were battling. Um, and so I think, you know, for somebody like uh, a player like myself um, to go out there and play for, you know, someone who was a pro um, the whole time, um, he didn't hang his head, he didn't, you know, jump into portal um, or do something um, like that. But he stuck around the team and he was, every day he was, he was, you know, in Kyle's ear, you know, trying to figure out exactly what Kyle was seeing and just being a grown man about his business. Um, and so for me to see that, um, even as, a, as an older guy, um, I think that allows me to be confident in, in the player that uh, Devin is and just, just the, the personality that we're going to have leading us um, on offense. Xavier, uh, playing in big games is part of Ohio State's DNA in a game like this. And I know you got teammates either that you ha play with now or have played with that's from Texas. Mm -hmm. So what have they said if they have any uh, knowledge about playing in the game, playing in AT&T Stadium, playing in that game? Have they – anybody on the team had some experiences that they've shared or talked about? Um, 
There's an ongoing debate um, over which state is the best uh, state on the team for football, high school football. Um, and so, you know, the Texas guy feels Texas guys feel str uh, very strongly about Texas. Um, I'm from Ohio, so I feel strongly about Ohio football. You know, um, but um, yeah, I think everything um, is bigger in Texas, as they say. Um, and even as we just pulled into the uh, Gaylor Hotel, we were, I was looking at it, and you know, I was like, wow, this is a, a really big hotel. Um, and so. I think just you know have an opportunity, like I said, to to go out on a big stage um, in a, in a environment um, as incredible as uh, the, the the Cowboy Stadium. Um, I think you know uh, our team is going to cherish that opportunity, um, and I think the way you cherish an opportunity like that is to go out there and give it your best um, and respect the game and the opponent um, and, and the people who are putting on um, the bowl by by uh, playing our highest level of football. Coach Jay, obviously a lot of excitement around Ohio State football. You guys had a pretty memorable moment on Monday with one of your alums, uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, having the game-winning touchdown and one of the best plays all year in the NFL. Um, what was your reaction to that play? It's a Missouri-Ohio State connection there. You guys obviously scoring off um, later this week. So, you know, just take me through, you know, what was your reaction to seeing JSN make a big play like that? I'm really happy for Jackson. You know, he'd be been through a couple, you know, injuries. And so we all know um, how talented he is and, and what a, a baller he is. And, so to see him make that catch, for me, the first thing I thought of was the catch he made in the Rose Bowl, um, you know, a couple of years back where, I mean, it was almost the exact same area of the field and the similar type throw that, that CJ hit him with. And i um, really happy, happy for Jackson. You know, he's uh, you know, been through a lot the last year and a half. And, um, you know, he's got a really bright future ahead of him in the NFL. Anything on the Missouri-Ohio State side of that? Yeah, no, I, I remember, you know, seeing it and, um, you know, when, as it happened on the field, I was actually watching the game. And so um, certainly uh, coincidental, I guess, that, that that happened like that. It's for both of you, but I guess primarily Xavier. Uh, Ohio State's such a unique place in that you can go 11-1 and one and still a lot of people are disappointed with the season. I mean, in a close game, obviously, it didn't go your way. But how do you view the season um, and how important – is a victory in this game in terms of shaping how you view the season? Um, yeah, uh, like you said, uh, we you come to Ohio State because of the pressure. Um, I think that you know if you're running from the pressure, you're scared um, of playing in big games or having your head on the line every uh, Saturday. Um, Ohio State's not the place for you. Um, so uh, we go into every game expecting to win. Um, and if the outcome is not what we want, then we we uh, regroup. Uh, we lean on our brothers. Um, and we rebite on uh, what. Uh, has been instilled in us through the offseason and, and kind of lean back on our training. Um, and so for us, um, I think that a, a victory here is very important. Um, you know, I think one of the special things about Ohio State um, is the legacy of excellence. Um, and so for me, um, with it being my last game um, of eligibility at Ohio State, um, kind of propelling that, that standard of excellence and continue to push that forward um, and kind of paying it forward in a sense um, is extremely important for us. Um, and then we talk about looking back at, at the season, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have a, a championship to show for it. Um, and like I said, um, I think that for, for me and for my brothers and for, you know, for everybody who has been a part of this season, um, the college football is grueling um, and it's, it's a, lo a long season and, you know, you work year round for 12 opportunities um, and, you know, what, what, uh, we've come up short in one of them. Um, but I think that um, it's, it's imperative kind of to, like I said, finish this season the right way, um, not only for, for this team, um, but for Buckeye Nation um, and just continue to give back to, to them who's, who've given so much to us. So. Yeah, and I think, you know, the margin is so tiny. And so, um, you know, when you come up short, it hurts. But, um, but I, I think about the players and, like X said, the, the sacrifice, the hard work, everything that goes on from, you know, January when you restart a season all the way until the end. And so, you know, for it to come down to a player or two, we know that that's, um, you know, what the game is, is all about. But, uh, but that doesn't take it away from, from these guys and the legacy they're leaving behind to their teammates. Um, Xavier's a great example of that, what he's done for his, uh, his teammates in terms of setting an example, being the Blanco Award winner, um, you know, coming in as a walk-on, earning a scholarship. Um, becoming one of the best special teams player players in America now, you know, become a huge part of our offense the last two years. It's just tremendous, and what a great example for the younger players as they continue to to strengthen our culture. But um, but but we all, like like X said, this this game winning in the Cotton Bowl means a lot to the people of Ohio. It means a lot to um, you know to Ohio State. It means a lot to our team to win this game and do it the right way. 
And so that's what we're going to do this week. Coach, we'll end on this. You talk about that meaning a lot to your program. Your two, program's 2-0 and in this game. Missouri's coming in with a lot of confidence and a lot of momentum. It's going to be really important for you, your team, to match that because that's something that they are – uh, have been living on and got them to this point in a program that is kind of on the uprise. How do you, how have you been coaching your team to get them ready leading up to this, and how will you do that going into this week? Well, we're in the Cotton Bowl, and it's a New Year's Six game, so we'd expect nothing less. You know, we're, um, you know, we're preparing to, to play the best football in America. That, that's what we're going to do. Um, so we know it's going to be a challenge. You know, we'd expect nothing less coming to the Cotton Bowl. So, um, you know, we're going to continue to prepare, prepare for this game the way we've prepared for other games in the past and use the same model that we've used for bowl games in the past in terms of preparing. You know, our guys got a little bit of a break. We get back in, in you know, back at it tomorrow, get on the practice field, have a great week of practice over at the stadium, and then, and then go, uh, you know, follow our plan to win. Ryan, other than Lathan, is everyone else healthy? Is everyone going to play in this game? Um, as of right now, yeah, I don't, I don't have any updates in, in that area. Um, there's nobody that will be out that um, would be new to you right now. Yeah. Yeah. Would you have any sort of sense about beyond the Cotton Bowl or the Brown and Yale game going into Old Ben? Um, yeah, a, a little bit here and there. But again, it's, it's hard for me to kind of say. Um, you know, because everyone, that's kind of their own deal, and, and um, we'll kind of let them, you know, communicate that as time goes on. But, um, but, but excited about the team that we can potentially have back here. And so I know that, uh, you know, there's some guys that, you know, are having a, uh, you know, they're, they're going through it and making sure that they're making the right decision for, for them, but also for the team. And, um, and so each, you know, each uh, guy who has to make that decision, like X doesn't have to make a decision. He knows he's going, right? Some guys know they're going. The guys that have to make that decision, they're being really thorough, asking the right questions, and, and uh, doing it the right way. Coach, Lee, thank you. Okay, guys, see you soon.